Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Today is card day and I am making another Valentine's card. He is so adorable. It is a little bit of a fun fold. It just flaps up like this. I did one the other day similar to it. Um, but this one is Valentine's and I'm using the little adorable owl from the adorable owl stamp set This stamp set is free with a $50 purchase right now during celebration So the new mini catalog is live and celebration is going on for those of you who don't know um, Stampin up does every year and this year. It's only going to be one time through the year last year we had two for during the year but we're only having one this year and this is the one and so for every $50 you spend you get to choose a product out of the celebration brochure and yeah this is one of them it's so cute so this is the stamp set right here that we're going to use today and I'm using this little guy right here I used this one last time that I um, used this stamp set so cute and then for the val Happy Valentine's Day, I'm going to use the Country Bouquet. And I am using this little heart here, so I am going to uh, stamp and punch that with the... This comes as a bundle with the Country Bouquet punch. And I'm going to just use the little heart this time. And I'm using the stitched rectangles and the scalloped contours. Now... I'm going to tell you the sizes of these. You can just cut it out and the pieces out. Of course, this is scalloped and it really makes it so cute with a little scallop on it. And that's from the scalloped contour dies. But I'll give you the size of that and the inner rectangles if you just want to cut out the pieces. So that's all that I'm using for this. I'm going to switch it up a little bit and use a little bit different pattern. I'm using the same designer paper which is the Country Floral Lane, which is this one right here. We're actually going to use these blue. This is Balmy Blue. We're going to use this pattern, these two patterns together. But this is Country Floral Lane. And this does go with our Valentine's. It's more of a Valentine pattern, but you can use it for other things as well. So this is what I'm sharing today. Let's get started with it. All right, so for this card base, I did it a little bit different, but I'm going to tell you there's two ways to do it. You can cut it six and three eighths by five and a quarter and score it at two and an eighth. Or you can cut, cut it your regular five and a half by four and a quarter, and then you're just going to cut two and a quarter inches off the top. You can do it either way. It's up to you. All right, we're going to go ahead and stamp our little... Owl. I'm going to use Memento Black and this is our little owl right here. We are going to color him too with some blends. I was going to watercolor him but I changed my mind at the last minute. So we are just going to stamp him and color him and I did cut him out with the Brother Scan and Cut. So for those of you who have been interested in the Brother Scan and Cut, I am going to insert right here a little video. It's not the best quality. I'm going to tell you that right now. I held my camera to show you and the, the lighting's not very good. But I wanted to show you because I know a lot of you were interested in how to cut out a scanned image. I mean a stamped image. And I'm going to show you how I scanned it and how it cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead and I already cut these out because I cut a bunch of them out. You'll see in the video, but I'm going to just go ahead and grab one of these and we're going to cut the one that's already scanned and cut. I love the Brother Scan and Cut for reasons like this when there's no dies. It's just perfect and it works just great. Okay, everybody, I am at my Scan and Cut and I'm going to show you how I cut out the little owls that I stamped. Because I know a lot of you have been wanting to see the scan and cut. I'm holding my camera to try to do this because my work area is not big enough to put my scan and cut up there. And so I'm going to try to show you this way how I set it up. And I already have my mat in my scan and cut. So I already pressed this button right here. 
This button right here is to load your mat. I already did that. And now it, it has the scan and the pattern right here. Now here's my stamped images. The top row I did a memento. The bottom I did with stays on because I tested this guy a little here with the watercolor because I wanted to watercolor him. I'm still not sure if I'm going to watercolor him or not, so <laughs> FYI. And um, it kind of ran the memento a little bit, so I decided to do it in stays on. But I'm going to cut all these little guys out because I'm going to use them. Now that I have my mat already loaded, I'm going to show you how I do it on my scan and cut, how I set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here. I'm just using my finger. I don't have my stylus out, so I'm just going to press scan here. And you're going to pr press direct cut because you're cutting out a stamped image. And then you're going to save it to your machine because you don't want to save it on your computer. Unless you want to, you can do that as well. So now I'm going to press start. And I'm going to press start here and it's scanning it right now. So I'm going to show you how it's scanning it. If you are new to Scan and Cut, um, I'm thinking of a better way to do this, but my lighting's not that great, so I hope you this isn't such bad quality that y'all can't see what I'm doing. Okay, it just scanned it. Now there's all these figures right here. So there's all my owls scanned in. I'm going to press here, OK. And I am going to close this in. So you take the little arrows and move it around the little arrows. And you want to make sure all your images are in there. OK, can you see how I did that? I'm trying to look at the screen and my camera to make sure you're able to see this. Now I'm going to say ignore objects because I can see like the glasses. Oops, we need to go back. I need to say OK here. All right, there they are right there. And I can see some of these want to cut out the uh, little glasses on here. So we are going to go ahead and go back a minute. And I'm going to say ignore objects. And I'm just going to press... I'm going to just say 28 and see if that takes care of it. And let's press OK. And you may have to go through this a little bit until you figure out. I'm going to go ahead and add that little circle on the top. This is going to add a margin around it so it cuts around the whole owl. And I'll be able to tell here in a minute if um, it's going to cut out. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to see if I have any. Yeah, see, it wants to cut out like the eyeballs here on that. And I don't want it to do that. And I hope you can see that. And so I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go back to the ignore objects. And I'm going to step that up a little bit to like, let's do 43. And I'll see OK. And then press OK again. And I think I might have it and make sure I have my 0.04 around the image and let's see what we got here okay so we're just getting that one eye right there so I'm gonna go back one more time because you don't want it to cut out I'm just gonna move that up ignore objects and let's try that and see if that gets it and then we're going to just keep going on. And I think we got it now. So I'm going to make sure I have my 0.04 around my images. I'm going to click that at OK. And you can see up here that the eyes are not showing anymore. So I'm going to press Select, Cut. And one thing you want to make sure when you cut is that the half cut is off because you don't want it to half cut, you want it to cut through the whole piece of card stock. All right, so now we're gonna press start and I'm gonna show you, it's loading the mat right here. And this is the SDX125, so you don't have to set the needle on here. 
and I'm going to show you it's just measuring how deep to cut and everything so you don't have to measure it it does it all automatically I love this machine because of that I know some people used to have to set their blade but so it's going to cut them all out it tells me it's got two minutes but that's approximately so um, it's going to go ahead and cut them all out for me So it's done. Now up here it's just going to say finished cutting. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to leave that on there, but um, we're going to go ahead and let the mat, click the mat part here, and we're going to release the mat. And we have our owls and everything cut out. So I am going to use for him crumb cake light and dark. I'm going to use the balmy blue light and dark and then I'm going to use real red light and dark and then dark pumpkin pie. So we're going to color him with the light crumb cake. He's so cute. I love coloring these and then they just seem to come alive as you, you color them. I'm not going to do any super fancy coloring. I am just going to do a little tiny bit of shading, but most of it's just going to be straight coloring. So we're doing his body, his wings, and his face in the light. But I'm going to shade just a little bit with the dark. I'm just going to do by his wings here and then underneath here and then I'm going to blend that in try to work with your blends when they are still wet it works much better I'm going to go ahead and color his little beak in pumpkin pie here and his little feet okay we are gonna do dark crumb cake I forgot to do the top of his head here we're gonna do this in the dark Okay, he's already so cute. I'm going to color his eyes. I'm going to use the light balmy blue. And then I'm going to shade it a little bit with the dark. But look how pretty his eyes are. Okay, and then we're going to just do his tie. And we're going to do that. I think I'm going to do his tie in balmy blue. Since we're doing balmy blue um, paper, I think I'm going to use the light and then just shade it a little bit with the dark. We'll give him a blue tie. Maybe this could be for a boy. Like your grandson or it would be really cute. Or even your son be cute. Look how cute he is with his little blue tie. All right, so that is going to be it. So that's what he looks like. Isn't he so cute? I love these little owls. Okay, we're going to set him aside. I'm going to grab my other piece. We're, we're going to stamp the heart with this. We're going to, again, use balmy blue for the heart on this one. So we're stamping this double one. Balmy blue, because he's going to hold a blue heart this time. 
and then just punch that out with our punch. Yes, it likes to go flying everywhere. We're just going to use that one and we're going to save the bigger one for another project. Okay, so those are ready to go. I'm going to take my stitched rectangle. This stitch rectangle is two and a half, about two and a half by four. We're going to use some memento black and stamp our Happy Valentine's Day on the bottom. And I'm going to set that aside for a minute and we're going to mat our pieces here for this. Okay, so we are going to mat the inside first with this piece right here. This piece is four by five and three eighths. All of these will be in the inspiration sheet, the, the measurements for these. And we're going to mat that first. And then I am using basic white because we need to do an inside sentiment. And I really liked how this looked when the card was closed. So we are doing this at five by three and three quarters. Let's get that even there. We're going to map these two, and these are two by five and three eighths. Both of them are the same. And we're going to put one on the outside here. And then one on the inside. You don't have to put it on the inside, but, but I like when you open it, you can see this piece. So we're going to put that on here. Didn't get that on very good. Let's see if I can do this without tearing it. There we go. Did y'all ever do that? Sometimes I need to just do it on the side and then I get it there. All right. So we got both our pieces on there. I'm going to grab my balmy blue piece here. You're just going to put it on half of this. And I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus for this. And make sure you got it going the right way. So we're going to put that on here and center it. So I liked how that white peeked out around the edge. So that's why I made it a lot bigger. I didn't make it to fit underneath there. All right, and then we're gonna put on our little Happy Valentine's Day right in the center. It's gonna go right inside that stitched area. And then we're gonna put our little owl on and we are gonna pop him up. I knew I had some new dimensionals here. We're going to pop him up and we're going to pop that little heart up as well. Nope. I'm going to put him right like in the center here and then this little heart is going to go on his hand. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, I love it on the blue. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to use some of my... I used the real red rhinestones on, on this one, but this time I think I'm going to use these festive pearls. There are some like really light, kind of like balmy blue ones in here. So I'm going to use those on this one. Grab my paper piercer here. And we're going to put some of these on here. Oh yeah, those are cute. And there you have it, y'all. Isn't he cute? 
Isn't he the cutest? Look at ears real red and balmy blue. You can choose whichever one you want to do. This one is sweet sorbet, by the way. It's not real red, it's sweet sorbet. And then the balmy blue for the little guy. I hope you enjoyed it, everyone. If you need any supplies, don't forget, celebrations going on and the new mini catalog is live. If you don't have a demonstrator and you'd like a catalog, please fill out a, a catalog request form on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. The inspiration sheet's there along with that. And here's my January host code. If you use it, I put you in a drawing at the end of the month. And I hope you have a blessed day. And I will catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.